Beneath the shimmering surface of Hollywood's golden age, a labyrinth of secrets and scandals lay hidden. Among the glittering stars and cinematic masterpieces, the private lives of Tinseltown's finest were often shrouded in mystery and intrigue. But sometimes the veil would slip, revealing tales so unexpected and controversial they seemed ripped from the pages of a screenplay. Take, for instance, the luminous Ava Gardner, whose tumultuous love affair with Frank Sinatra captivated the public, or the legendary Spencer Tracy, whose off-screen life was as complex and compelling as his on-screen performances. These were not isolated incidents, but part of a larger narrative, a tapestry woven with hidden liaisons, secret children, and forbidden love. In this video, we peel back the curtain on Hollywood's most closely guarded secrets, the children born out of the spotlight, away from the prying eyes of the press and the public. From the whispered rumors of clandestine pregnancies to the undeniable truths that emerged years later, these stories reveal a different side of the stars we thought we knew. We'll explore the lives of those who grew up in the shadows of fame, their existences marked by a legacy they had no part in choosing. These are not just tales of scandal and sensation, but of real people searching for identity and belonging in the aftermath of decisions made long before their time. The Early Days of Hollywood In the nascent days of Hollywood, a burgeoning film industry began to cast its first shadows on the silver screen, giving rise to a new breed of American royalty, the movie star. This era, marked by the silent film age and the transition to talkies, was a time of innovation, glamour, and boundless possibilities. Yet, beneath its glittering surface, the personal lives of its stars were often mired in complexity and secrecy, particularly when it came to matters of the heart and family. One of the most emblematic figures of this era was Clara Bow, known as the It Girl, who embodied the carefree, vivacious spirit of the Roaring Twenties. Bo's on-screen persona captivated millions, but her off-screen life was fraught with challenges, not least of which were the rumors that swirled around her personal relationships and the children she was rumored to have had out of wedlock. While no concrete evidence exists to confirm these children, the speculation around Bo's private life underscores the intense scrutiny and moral policing faced by female stars of the time. The early Hollywood studio system, with its rigid control over actors' images and personal lives, played a significant role in shaping the narrative around its stars. Studios went to great lengths to craft public personas for their actors that aligned with the moral standards of the day, often at the expense of the star's true selves. This led to a culture of secrecy and double lives, where stars like Bo were forced to navigate their personal affairs in the shadows, away from the prying eyes of the press and moral watchdogs. The case of Bo is not isolated. Other stars of the era, such as Louise Brooks and Alma Rubens, faced similar challenges. Brooks, known for her iconic role in Pandora's Box, and Rubens, a silent film actress whose career was marred by addiction, both had rumored affairs and children out of wedlock. These stories, often buried beneath layers of studio-manufactured publicity, reveal a pattern of hidden relationships and the lengths to which stars went to maintain their public image. The societal norms of the early 20th century, which stigmatized children born outside of marriage, added another layer of complexity to these situations. The children of these liaisons, if they existed, were often raised in secrecy or given up for adoption, their paternity shrouded in mystery. This practice was not limited to Hollywood, but was reflective of broader societal attitudes towards illegitimacy and the sanctity of the traditional family unit. The impact of these hidden relationships and their resulting offspring rippled through the lives of those involved. For the stars, it meant a constant balancing act between their public personas and private realities, often leading to personal turmoil and, in some cases, the end of careers. For the children, it meant growing up with a secret legacy, their identities shaped by the circumstances of their birth and the societal stigma attached to it, the studio system secrets. In the golden age of Hollywood, 
The studio system wielded unparalleled influence over the careers and personal lives of its stars. This era, characterized by its tight control over the public images of actors, also bore witness to one of the most poignant and carefully concealed stories of illicit love and hidden lineage, the story of Loretta Young, Clark Gable, and their daughter, Judy Lewis. Loretta Young, an actress of ethereal beauty and profound talent, was a prominent figure in Hollywood's studio system. Her career spanned from silent films through the golden age of cinema, earning her critical acclaim and a devout following. Clark Gable, known as the King of Hollywood, was the epitome of masculine charm and one of the era's most bankable stars. Their paths crossed professionally on the set of The Call of the Wild in 1935, leading to an affair that would become one of Hollywood's most closely guarded secrets. The affair resulted in Young's pregnancy, a situation fraught with potential scandal that could have ended both actors' careers. In an era when the moral clauses in studio contracts dictated the personal lives of Hollywood stars, Young's pregnancy was a ticking time bomb. With meticulous planning and the complicity of a few trusted individuals, Young disappeared from the public eye, citing illness, while she was, in fact, pregnant. Judy Lewis was born on November 6, 1935, in Venice, California. To protect her and Gable's careers and maintain her public image, Young placed Judy in an orphanage, only to adopt her months later in a well-orchestrated move designed to avoid scandal. This act of subterfuge was a testament to the length stars had to go to preserve their standing in the unforgiving Hollywood landscape. Judy grew up unaware of her true parentage, although rumors and whispers followed her throughout her childhood and adolescence. The resemblance to Gable was undeniable, with her ears being a particularly telling feature, leading Young to have Judy undergo surgery to make them less prominent. Despite these measures, the truth about Judy's father remained an open secret in Hollywood, known by many but publicly acknowledged by none. The relationship between Young and her daughter was complex and fraught with unspoken truths. It wasn't until Judy was an adult that Young confirmed her father's identity, a revelation that reshaped Judy's understanding of her own identity and her place in the world. The impact of this secret on Lewis was profound, affecting her sense of self and her relationships with both her mother and the father she never knew. Love Affairs in the Spotlight The story of Ingrid Bergman and Roberto Rossellini is a tale of passion, art, and scandal that shook the foundations of Hollywood's golden age and challenged the moral compass of the era. Bergman, a Swedish actress renowned for her luminous beauty and profound talent, had captivated American audiences with her performances in films such as Casablanca and Gaslight, for which she won her first Academy Award. Rossellini, an Italian film director, was a leading figure in the neorealism movement, known for his raw and authentic portrayal of post-war Italy. Their union was not just a merging of two cinematic worlds, but also a love affair that defied conventions and sparked international controversy. Their story began in the late 1940s when Bergman, then married to Dr. Petter Lindstrom, wrote a letter to Rossellini expressing her admiration for his work and her desire to make a film with him. This correspondence led to Bergman's starring role in Stromboli, 1950, directed by Rossellini. During the production of the film, their professional relationship blossomed into a romantic affair, a development that would have profound personal and professional repercussions. The affair became public knowledge when Bergman became pregnant with Rossellini's child. In an era when Hollywood's moral code was strictly enforced and the personal lives of its stars were subject to public scrutiny, the revelation of their relationship was scandalous. Bergman, who had been revered as a symbol of grace and virtue, was now vilified in the press, condemned by the public, and even denounced on the floor of the United States Senate for immoral conduct. The birth of their son, Renato Roberto Giusto Giuseppe Rossellini, in 1950, and later the twins Isabella and Ingrid Rossellini, only intensified the scandal. Bergman's marriage to Lindstrom ended in divorce, and she married Rossellini in 1950. However, the damage to her public image was significant. Bergman was forced to leave Hollywood and would not return to the American screen for several years. The relationship between Bergman and Rossellini and the birth of their children marked a significant moment in Hollywood history. 
It challenged the industry's and society's expectations of female stars, highlighting the double standards applied to women's personal and professional lives. Bergman's career, although temporarily derailed, eventually recovered. She went on to win two more Academy Awards, proving that talent could overcome scandal. The children of Bergman and Rossellini grew up in the shadow of this controversy, but carved out their own paths. Isabella Rossellini became a successful actress and model, while Ingrid Rossellini pursued a career in academia. Renato Rossellini, though less in the public eye, also made his mark away from the glare of the scandal that had surrounded his birth. The Rock and Roll Era the affair between Eddie Fisher and Elizabeth Taylor is one of Hollywood's most notorious scandals, emblematic of the changing social mores and the increasing scrutiny of celebrity personal lives in the post-war era. Fisher, a popular singer, and Taylor, a film star of unparalleled beauty and talent, found themselves at the center of a media storm that would have lasting repercussions on their careers and personal lives, particularly impacting Fisher's family with Debbie Reynolds. Eddie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds were America's sweethearts, their marriage seemingly a fairy tale union of two beloved entertainers. They had two children, Carrie and Todd Fisher, completing the picture of domestic bliss. However, the stability of their marriage was shattered by Fisher's affair with Elizabeth Taylor, who was then the widow of Fisher's best friend, Mike Todd. The affair not only ended Fisher's marriage to Reynolds, but also ignited a public scandal that dominated headlines and captivated the American public. The impact of the affair on Fisher's children with Reynolds was profound and multifaceted. Carrie Fisher, who would later achieve fame as an actress, writer, and Hollywood icon in her own right, spoke openly about the pain and confusion the scandal caused her as a child. The very public nature of her parents' divorce and her father's subsequent marriage to Taylor placed Carrie and her brother Todd in an unwelcome spotlight, subjecting them to public scrutiny and media speculation at a young age. The affair and its fallout marked a significant moment in the evolution of celebrity culture. It highlighted the growing power of the media to shape public perceptions of stars and underscored the vulnerability of celebrity marriages to public and press intrusion. Fisher's career suffered in the aftermath of the scandal, with his public image tarnished by his role in the breakup of his marriage to Reynolds. Taylor, on the other hand, continued to thrive professionally, her career seemingly impervious to the scandal, though she faced public censure for her role in the affair. The relationship between Fisher and Taylor was short-lived, ending in divorce in 1964. However, the legacy of their affair lingered, affecting the personal dynamics within their blended family for years to come. Carrie Fisher's relationship with her father was strained, a theme she would explore in her writing and interviews, offering insight into the complex nature of familial bonds in the aftermath of public scandal. The Golden Age's Hidden Stories Spencer Tracy's career spanned over three decades, during which he became one of Hollywood's most respected actors. His on-screen chemistry with Katherine Hepburn, with whom he made nine films, is legendary. Off-screen, Tracy's life was intensely private, marked by struggles with alcoholism and a complex relationship with Hepburn that was both a profound partnership and a source of endless speculation. Tracy was married to Louise Treadwell, and together they had two children, John and Susie. However, his relationship with Hepburn, which began after his marriage, was an open secret in Hollywood. Despite never divorcing Treadwell, Tracy and Hepburn maintained a relationship until his death in 1967. The nature of their relationship, conducted away from the public eye, has been the subject of much discussion, with many admirers and biographers noting the depth of their connection and the sacrifices both made to maintain it. Regarding the speculation surrounding Tracy's private life and the possibility of children born out of wedlock, it's crucial to approach this topic with caution. Unlike other Hollywood figures whose personal lives became public through revelations or acknowledgments, Tracy's story remains shrouded in the privacy he so fiercely protected. There are no confirmed accounts of children born outside his marriage to Treadwell, and much of what is speculated comes from a place of rumor rather than documented fact. The culture of Hollywood's golden age played a significant role in shaping the narratives around its stars. The studio system, 
with its emphasis on controlling the public images of its actors, often led to a dissonance between the public personas and private lives of its biggest names. Tracy, like many of his contemporaries, navigated this divide, maintaining a level of privacy that has left many aspects of his life open to interpretation and speculation. Scandals Behind the Silver Screen Ava Gardner and Frank Sinatra's relationship was the stuff of Hollywood legend, a union that combined beauty, talent, and tumult in equal measure. Gardner, known for her stunning looks and formidable acting prowess, and Sinatra, a singer of unparalleled talent whose career was experiencing a downturn when they first became involved, were both massive stars in their own right. Their relationship began in the late 1940s and quickly became one of the most talked about romances of the era. The pressures facing stars of Hollywood's golden age were immense. The studio system exerted significant control over actors' careers and personal lives, often dictating not just the roles they played, but whom they were seen with and how they conducted their private affairs. For Gardner and Sinatra, this meant their relationship was subject to intense scrutiny, not just from studio heads, but from the public and the press. Rumors of a pregnancy emerged at a time when both Gardner and Sinatra were under considerable public attention. Gardner's marriage to Sinatra, her third and his second, was marked by passionate highs and devastating lows, with both parties' careers and personal demons often clashing. The rumored pregnancy has been a point of speculation for biographers and fans alike, seen as a potential turning point in their tumultuous relationship. However, Without concrete evidence or confirmation from Gardner or Sinatra themselves, the story remains part of the larger narrative of their storied romance. The impact of such speculation on Gardner in particular highlights the double standards and gendered expectations placed on women in Hollywood. While male stars often faced less criticism for their romantic entanglements, women were scrutinized and judged more harshly. Gardner, already known for her independent spirit and resistance to the studio system's attempts to control her, would have been acutely aware of the potential fallout from any confirmation of a pregnancy outside of marriage, even within the context of her marriage to Sinatra. Their relationship and the rumored pregnancy must be understood within the context of the time. The early 1950s were a period of transition in Hollywood, with the studio system beginning to decline and the rise of tabloid journalism. The personal lives of stars became fodder for public consumption in a way that had not been seen before, with Gardner and Sinatra among the first to experience the full force of this new celebrity culture. Love, Secrecy, and Legacy Leslie Howard's contribution to the golden age of cinema is undeniable. His performances, characterized by a blend of charisma and elegance, left an indelible mark on Hollywood and the international film community. However, Howard's life off-screen was as compelling as his on-screen personas, marked by his involvement in the political and social upheavals of his time, including rumored activities in espionage during World War II. His untimely death in 1943, when the plane he was traveling in was shot down by German forces, added a layer of intrigue and tragedy to his legacy. Ronald Howard, born in 1918, was Leslie Howard's only son with his wife, Ruth Evelyn Martin. Growing up as the son of one of the era's most celebrated actors, Ronald faced the immense challenge of forging his path in the shadow of a towering figure. The expectations set by Leslie Howard's success and the public's fascination with his life and mysterious death were formidable pressures for Ronald. Ronald Howard pursued an acting career, appearing in numerous films and television shows from the 1940s through the 1970s. Perhaps his most notable role was as Sherlock Holmes in the 1954 television series Sherlock Holmes, where he brought the iconic detective to life with a performance that echoed the charm and intelligence his father was known for. Despite this and other successes, Ronald's career did not reach the same heights as his father's, a fact that highlights the difficulties of living up to a legendary legacy. The challenges Ronald faced were not just professional, but personal. Growing up in the aftermath of his father's death, with the accompanying speculation and intrigue surrounding Leslie Howard's wartime activities, Ronald had to navigate a world that was forever changed by loss. 
The public's enduring interest in Leslie Howard meant that Ronald's achievements were often viewed through the lens of his father's legacy, a comparison that can overshadow individual accomplishments. The New Hollywood Movement Arnold Schwarzenegger's journey from Mr. Universe to Hollywood megastar and then to the governor of California is a tale of ambition, discipline, and unparalleled public success. However, in 2011, a personal revelation emerged that presented a starkly different narrative, one that highlighted the vulnerabilities even the most controlled public figures face. The disclosure of Schwarzenegger's paternity of Joseph Baina, born to the family's housekeeper, Mildred Patricia Patty Baina, was a moment of profound personal and public reckoning for Schwarzenegger. The revelation came at a time when Schwarzenegger's public image was that of a successful action hero, a dedicated public servant, and a family man. Married to Maria Shriver, a journalist and member of the Kennedy family, Schwarzenegger's personal life was as much a part of his public persona as his professional achievements. The news of his affair and the existence of a son born out of wedlock was a jarring departure from the narrative that had been carefully curated over decades. Joseph Baina's birth in 1997 and the subsequent revelation of his paternity more than a decade later brought to light the complex realities behind Schwarzenegger's public facade. The affair and the secrecy surrounding Joseph's paternity caused a significant media storm leading to Schwarzenegger and Shriver's separation. This personal crisis unfolded in the public eye, offering a glimpse into the challenges faced by those living under the scrutiny of public attention. For Joseph Baina, the revelation of his paternity was a life-altering moment. Growing up, Baina's resemblance to Schwarzenegger was noticeable, yet the truth of his lineage was not publicly acknowledged until Schwarzenegger's term as governor was coming to an end. The public disclosure thrust Baina into the spotlight, a position that comes with its own set of challenges and opportunities. Despite the initial controversy, Schwarzenegger took responsibility for his actions and has since been an active part of Baina's life. Baina has navigated his path with a notable grace, pursuing his education and showing a keen interest in bodybuilding, echoing his father's own beginnings. His relationship with Schwarzenegger has grown stronger over the years, with the two often seen sharing moments of their lives on social media, from gym workouts to celebrating graduations.